The Institute of Hematology originated from the Department of Hematology People's Hospital. In 1981, it was established as the Institute of Hematology Peking University. Now, it is leading uh, integrated hematology team in mainland China. The effects of research is clinical and translational research. We have program of transplantation, leukemia, uh, multiple myeloma, uh, etc. As we all know, transplantation is one of the uh, most effective cure uh, therapy for many patients with leukemia. We uh, collaborate with EBMT, the physicians in EBMT and uh, in our institute, they have the academic exchange and uh, uh, we invite a physician from EBMT to our institute for some lectures. We send a young physician to EBMT for some uh, training and for some education. We uh, enter data to the EBMT registry and co cooperate with the EBMT for, for, for some academic papers. As a young uh, EBMT ambassador, I can promote the EBMT uh, publication, the new studies and the new advances to, to the Chinese physician. And also the other aspects, I think I can uh, present the new Chinese uh, studies and the research and to the EBMT physician and that they know what we have done and what we want to do. The most challenge in China is is shortage of donors. We established a national donor program, but even today, the national donor program have two million people, but only 11% of chance to find unrelated donors. We focus on the uh, research, uh, the study on the hyperidentical transplantation. First, we found the GCSF, which are usually mobilized of stem cell. But our serious study found actually it is an immunoregulator. It can change the T cell function, which is the key factors to influence outcome of hyperidentical transplantation. Our previous work, we have found that several biomarkers we can predict the occurrence at QGHD. Then we use this biomarker to guide our intensified GVHD uh, pre for Lexis. And we found that the risk stratified GVHD intensified prophylaxis could significantly reduce the occurrence acute GVHD post transplantation. All the translational work come from the clinical question. We want to know why this happened, and we want to find the method to resolve this question. Then, if we find a way we can translate into our clinic to improve the patient's clinical outcome. Clinical research here uh, for hyplotransplant uh, focus on mainly uh, four fields. Uh, that is GVT prophylaxis, relapse uh, management, uh, virus infection per prophylaxis, and uh, in graph function uh, improvement. Uh, additionally, the uh, clinical research on uh, donor selection and uh, um, conditioning intensity uh, is also underway. The most impressive case is from uh, Sandra. I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, uh, firstly in 2011. I got cured here in Lithuania, and in the summer of 2015, uh, they got, uh, they found that my disease came back. He told me that my um, chances for living and uh, for recovery were very little. 
She was in urgent need of a transplant. A local health agency sent, sent her to our team. She soon uh, underwent a hyaline dental transplant and recovered smoothly. Now she survives uh, one, and, one year and a half and have, has good quality of life. I just want to say thank you. A big, huge thank you. <laughs> Uh, to the whole team, especially to the professor who was treating me and the doctors who were always uh, always close to me and always caring what I eat and how I feel for taking great care of me, for putting a lot of effort to make sure that I recover for everything, really for everything. I feel very grateful. Uh, we are proud that uh, she was the one of the thousands of patients benefiting from our Beijing protocol. Of course, the, the goal of the Institute of Hematology uh, want to contribute to the health of a human, human being, and not only uh, for Chinese people, but for the whole world.